Hi, my name is Nick and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to be working in the Faro Scene software. We've got a project here that was scanned with a uh, Faro Focus X330. And we've got a customer that's asking that they be provided the Faro laser scans, but they want them already registered. So they're not asking for the uh, Faro Scene project to be exported to them. They're not asking for an RCP, RCS file format for AutoCAD that you would register and then export through the recap function of Scene. Or in that sense, you could even register it in the recap 360 from AutoCAD. That's not what they're asking for. They're asking for simply the FLS, the Faro laser scan files, but they want them to be completely registered. So it's a little bit different process. This is one way to do it. Uh, it may be old school, but it does work. So as you can see, we've got a fully registered project. We've got uh, green lights, everything as, 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 as it should be. Now, if we want to take a look at what this looks like in the files, we can open up your project file. You can look into the raw scans. <clears throat> now they're not there. So then you would go to the revisions. If you start at the most recent or the number seven in this case, you open up the scans, it's not there either. So you can continue to go through and look at this project and all the revisions until you get to what's going to be most likely, in this case, it's the first revision, the first save. And here we are. Now, we could copy these put them into a Dropbox and send them over to our customer. But the problem is this is the first revision. These scans are not registered. So what we need to do is we need to compress, we need to compact and get rid of all the revisions. So all that's left is the registered files. So the scans that are completely registered are gonna be what's left. So in order to do that, again, this is one way, we can go into the settings up in the right-hand corner of our screen and then we can go to switch user interface <clears throat> this gives us an interface of the previous uh, scene software now we can close that out now if you look we've got an icon at the top of our screen the icon looks sort of like a vice or a C clamp. It says clean up and compact project. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of, like I said, all of the different revisions that have been created. So you need to be very, very sure that when you do this, you don't need to go back to a previous revision. This is going to erase all of the previous revisions that you've gone through. So if there were times where you were adding this or subtracting that, or putting in measurements, you, all of these things, you're not going to be able to go back. You're not going to be able to go back and re-register this somehow with beginning at the re unregistered scans, unless you've got this data already saved on a different drive, which I always do uh, suggest you should have this on an SD card. Um, you should have it in the cloud, just multiple locations in case you need to fix something. But if we go to the cleanup and compact, it's going to ask us, we're going to say yes. Now it's creating a new base version. Again, this is going to be getting rid of the pre-registered version of this project. And it's going to take a few minutes. And when it's done, then we'll show you how to just simply open up the file as we did before. And you could grab all of those scans and you could just put them into a Dropbox. So now we've created a new base revision for our project. Now, as you can see, we can open the revisions uh, file in our project and we don't have one through six any longer. We've got a new base revision, which is seven. So if we open up revision seven, we're going to see all of our FLS files for the project, except that these are all registered. So you can simply just highlight them copy them, put them into a Dropbox or some other transfer portal and give them to your customer. Now, whether they're using it for a different software set, uh, whatever they're using it for, 
these are the, going to be the registered simple FLS files, not the project, not RCP, RCS files for AutoCAD. Uh, there are a lot of different software packages that would need something like this, and this is how you could provide it to them. I hope this helps. Again, my name is Nick. This is Atlantic Laser Scanning Services, and let us know if we can help. Good luck with your next project.